Good morning. It's Thursday, December the 26th, and this is The Drill. Thank you. I'm Ron, your host and the only true conservative in the United States today. I'm a Desert Storm era veteran with an associate's degree, a Christian, and a registered independent. My podcast is made available through Spreaker and can be heard on iTunes, Spotify, Google, and YouTube. So, you think that you're a conservative? Do you consider yourself an environmentalist? Do you think of yourself as a leader or change agent? Do you believe in exceptions, middle ground, compromise? Then you are not a conservative. Today, making predictions, the Court of Appeals, and making sense of the left. All that when I come back. Thank you very much. Welcome back. Making predictions is not only a way of de-emphasizing values, but also a concession to determinism. It says that the predictor is passive. When the alarm goes off, do you ask yourself, what will I do? Get up or hit the snooze bar and then lie there and wait to see what happens? Of course not. When the alarm goes off, you ask yourself, what should I do? Get up, turn off the alarm and go back to sleep, hit the snooze bar, We ask ourselves the question, what should I do hundreds or thousands of times a day? And any political or philosophical theory that fails to answer that question is useless. When someone asks you to make a prediction, skip it. When I come back, the left and the court of appeals. Thank you, thank you. Why would a lefty politician, in this case Mike Foyer, the L.A. city attorney, question a decision by the Supreme Court to refuse to review a lower court ruling in favor of the left? The Supreme Court let the Ninth Circuit Court decision, Martin v. Boise, about homeless persons stand without comment. The Ninth Circuit decision allows the homeless to sleep anywhere they want. But the reason he did this, uh, he opposed this Uh, not taking up the issue uh, by the Supreme Court is simple. The Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals is being remade by President Trump. In the future, a challenge to the Ninth Circuit Court ruling could be made to conservative judges who will overturn the lefty ruling. If the Supreme Court takes the case and rules in favor of the ACLU, then the ruling is set in cement. The right should allow the President to pack the Ninth Circuit with conservatives and then Rechallenge the Martin decision. Up next, making sense of the left. Welcome back. The left is in the habit of making vague statements, and the right attempts to make sense of those vague statements because they think it proves that they're smart. Don't do this. Listen carefully and then ask questions. Ask the lefty, what are you talking about? What do you mean? Put the burden on the left where it belongs. Back in a minute. In conclusion... Skip the predictions, prepare to rechallenge the Martin decision, and listen carefully. Who is the true conservative? He's the person that understands that conservatism is not just about politics, but culture as well. He's not selfish, but minds his own business. He acts like an adult. He is patriotic and uses common sense. He expresses what he knows and does so with absolute certainty. He makes judgments, refuses to speculate, speaks clearly and definitively, and is not afraid to say no. He's open-minded, asking why, rather than why not. He is consistent, credible, and influential. Not ashamed of his existence, unafraid to learn or correct his mistakes. 
He is a normal American, and he is better than the socialist. He's a better friend, father, brother, family member, and a better person, period. You have to know that. If you don't know with every fiber of your being that being a true conservative is best, then you're wasting your time. And that brings me to the conclusion of another episode of The Drill. And remember that the left has no authority, no power, and they can't win. Think about it.